Hello, and welcome to Trails of Azure, part 65. Uh, it's time to go visit the booster site after talking to all the people on the magical airship. Let's start by talking with Ellie. We're about to hack the Orbal Net and formally declare the independent state of Crossbow invalid. I'm going to ignore every mention of invalid, invalidity, because it doesn't matter and I'm not going to think about it anymore. In the end, everything will come down to timing. Ah, <sighs> it's not like me to be this nervous. Well, I can understand why you would be. What we're planning will end, will end the temporary peace that Crossbow has right now. That's a fact we can't contend with. Will it? Sorry, I was going to ignore all this stuff. Like... Crossbell doesn't have peace because it is viewed as a valid independent state. Crossbell has peace because it has overwhelming military might. Like, the validity of the state has nothing to do with the temporary peace. Like, once we declare, oh, it's invalid, they'll know where we are probably and they'll attack us. But, like, it won't start a sudden war. Or if it does, that's poor writing. But, like doesn't make sense because the, the only reason crossbow has peace is because of the septarian and the three aeons or I, a, ions aeons it's aeons like without those even if it was totally a valid declaration of independence it wouldn't matter like it's not going to change the level of peace it's just going to incite violence on us but whatever and i mean individual people might complain but like the individual people are not going to do much to break the peace, but whatever. This fact we can't contend with. It makes me wonder if what we're doing is really the right thing. Uncle and the others have provided Crossbow with protection against Erebonian and Calvard. So many innocent people benefit from that. And here we are, trying to wrest it away from them. I know. But this so-called peace is only possible because President Kwa and the others are exploiting Kia for it. The people have no clue what's happening. The cost of their newfound freedom. There's no way we can let this continue. I mean, I'm going to say this. I think, realistically, a lot of people would be totally okay with one person being, relatively speaking, slightly inconvenienced in order to have a nice, peaceful place to live. Like, a lot of people would be okay with that. Whatever. You're right. And like, cause all, everything Kia related, the only thing meaningful that they have illustrated is that she's worried about her friends. She's not being physically exploited in any meaningful way. Like she's just separated from other people. That's the only thing they've shown so far. And she got transformed into a, I don't know, God adjacent, but weaker being. So like that's something, but you're right. I could never accept a peace that was obtained by sacrificing Kia's happiness and well-being. Thank you, Lloyd. Chatting with you was just what I needed to let go of my doubts. Haha, <laughs> anytime, Ellie. This operation is our first step towards taking Kia back. We need to pull it off no matter what. Right, let's give it our all. The space of this ship doesn't make any sense. It should be so much bigger. Okay. There might be people to talk to in there. So they, them, them. Our actions today will call into question the legitimacy of Crossbow's independence. I'm not going to talk to them anymore. I'm done after this one because they keep talking about the legitimacy and that has nothing to do with anything. And doing that means challenging the establishment of the Defense Force too. I'm sure Commander Bales can handle the after aftermath but there's no avoiding the unrest that's going to ensue. We should consider ourselves lucky the two major powers are preoccupied with their own civil turmoil caused by us. Because without wiping out their armies, they wouldn't have that turmoil. They, they would, but they wouldn't be in the current position of losing. I'm not talking to anyone more because frankly, they're just going to continue talking about, oh, the legitimacy, and that has that that's not relevant. The military might have crossed both what keep, what's keeping it in its current state. The legitimacy doesn't matter. Okay, 
I decided to abandon Rixia. Yes, yeah, so all I can do is go here. I can't go anywhere else. We can use the experimental signal booster to hack into the orbital net and broadcast the declaration of invidil invalidity. Once we do this, there's no going back. You ready? Yeah, because I don't care. I could talk to the people. Maybe there's something I'll get, but they're just going to talk with the validity that has nothing to do with the current state. And it's just annoying because, like, the validity doesn't matter if the military might is there. I mean, right by Tangram Gate, why are we not invisible? Shouldn't we cloak to be invisible? Cameras, check. Sound systems, double check. We are now approaching the airspace directly above the signal booster. You may begin whenever you see fit. Wait, so we're remotely hacking into the, rem the signal booster to remotely hack into everything else. Weird. Okay, here we go. You ready, Speaker Wintel? Yes, let's begin. I'm going to hate this. This is going to be so bad. I don't have high hopes for this to be a satisfying thing to read through. <laughs> here we, here goes nothing. Establishing link from booster to orbital net. But we don't have a connection to the booster yet. The booster they said was down below. We're in the air. We should have. We should need to establish link to the booster first before linking the booster to the orbital net. But whatever. Let the hacking begin. Unless this booster is ours the entire time, so we were already connected. Oh god, this, like, goofy hacking interface. I don't know why they chose to do that. Yes, I've got control of the communication system. Switching to main camera. Go for it. Wait. What are they going to see? If they see the inside of the Merkaba, isn't that going to be suspicious? Ahem. Good morning, Crossbell. Wait, where's the camera? Okay, but like... Wh where's the camera? Like, unless the camera's coming from like, here, where's the camera? Is it, she's not holding a camera in front- where, where's the camera? Good morning, Crossbell, because it's clearly not on the screen, because the angle's not right. This is reporter Grace Lynn of the Crossbell News Service coming to you live. Also, what's behind her shouldn't have the sky or a radar thing, but whatever. As a disclaimer, the following transmission is not endorsed by the CNS. I am here in an independent capacity to deliver this breaking bulletin to you. With that, there is someone here whom I would like to introduce. I speak. I give you Speaker Henry McDowell, representative of the autonomous state of Crossbell. How, how do the camera focus on him with the same background? They're not in the same position. Doesn't make any sense. Good morning, citizens of Crossbell, as well as everyone else who may be watching this. It, this feels like it should be this little broadcast. I, Henry McDowell, am speaker of the Diet of the Autonomous State of Crossbell. Who's she? She's not one of the generic teens, right? What's with this different background? Hmm? And where where does the clouds come from? Huh? Oh, are they like green screening? Uh, that'd be pretty funny if they like, yeah, they have a super good green screen. Without needing a green screen, they just key out everything behind. As I'm sure you are all aware, former Mayor Kwa has recently declared the founding of the independent state of Crossbell. Moreover, he established a military organization known as the Crossbell Defense Force. Already, some crossbalance have come to welcome both. However, I urge you all to reconsider. Consider whether our present course has truly been the will of the people. I mean, technically it was. It was aggressively guided by doing something terrible, but technically it was, initially. 
Naturally, each and every one of you has the right to decide for yourself the ethicality of our independence. Is that even a word? Like, I've never... Ethicality... It would be ethics. You would just be like, the ethics of our independence. Is Ethicality is a real word, I think. Interesting. The state, quality, or manner of being ethical. I think the manner of being ethical, being ethicality, makes sense. I've never heard ethicality. I would have just thought ethics. Like, consider for yourself the ethics of our independence. But ethicality is a word. I learn something every day. Except not really. Even so, the ma the fact of the matter is that our current administration was not established via de a democratic process. Independence was proclaimed under the pretense of unanimity, when in truth, several Diet members, myself included, were falsely imprisoned. To reiterate, all that has been declared had been done so arbitrarily without the consent of the Crossbell Diet. Come on, that can have a video. And like, it's so low, Ugh, whatever. So now I ask you, was the referendum pur purpose truly to gauge the stance of the people towards national sovereignty? No, it was but a validation of our former mayor's declaration of intent. A pretext under which to pursue his own whims. The Defense Force, the independent state of Crossbell, and even the president himself. They are all founded on illegitimate grounds, which again doesn't matter because he has military might to force it through anyway. Because he doesn't need the CDF. But rather than simply... Okay, no. They are definitely green screening the background. Like, what is this background? But rather than simply challenging the legality of how this came to be, there is something just as important that I want my fellow, fellow crossbellans to ask themselves. Is this, state, in this, is this state of affairs, this administration, this life they have created for our state and all the continent, truly just? That is the question. If you can have another background over here, next screen we see with the new background. Wee woo wee woo. Oh, no, it's a hologram looking, hologram looking thing, what? That's so goofy. And he has a laptop? Except that would crush him under its weight if you put it on his lap. And so, I wish to present to you all the opportunity to come to your own conclusions. With that, as a representative of Crossbell State, I hereby emphatically and categorically declare the independent state of Crossbell invalid. This is like, um... It really feels like those... I mean, it's it's being done to get a rise out of the people so that they, like, try and, like, maybe not fight, fight back, but fight back against it is the goal. But the, declaring it invalid won't do anything beyond that. Because, like, it's military might. And being able to delete entire battalions that keep them in their position. Wow, he really said it. This is going to give us a little more lee- This is going to give us a little more leeway for sure. Indeed it will. Sergei, was this their doing? As if he could know that specifically. He has just as- he's guessing just as much as you are. Huh, you tell me. You know anyone else who could pull this off? I mean, Estelle and Joshua could. Shake a leg, people. Looks like business is about to pick up. Gastel and Joshua could. Kevin could. Um, I assume that <laughs> Reen and Class 7 could. Is it Reen? Lean? I've seen it both ways. I also know nothing. Wait, why is it her now? And there you have it. From here, I would like... I would now like to disclose the truth behind the events leading to this day. It began with the raid on Crossbell City two months ago. Yo, he has a computer in his office. How much longer do we intend to let them peddle this swill over our airwaves? 
We've discovered the conduit they used to gain access to the signal, and are in the process of cutting them off. It should only take another few minutes or so, which is a few minutes too many. We've begun withdrawing the screens that have been set up in the city as well. The citizens should disperse on their own shortly. Bad writing! Hmm. Ha. So this was their ace in the hole. It's no easy task, weaving a thread of fact into a tapestry of fiction. That's the mark of a wily old veteran, if I ever saw one. Except that it's not fiction, right? It's like 80% truth? Aren't you forgetting something? This never would have happened had you not allowed the speaker to escape from house arrest. Weird. The, okay, like, they escaped. Maybe it should be less than an hour ago. Fair point. We'll shoulder the blame for that. Though had you allowed us to do things our way from the start, those pests would be dead. Then, then this ne never would have happened, except Kia wouldn't side with them if they were dead. We cannot afford to compromise the Divine Child's temperament. There's, there's only so far we can go with the SSS and their allies if we want to keep her cooperation. Vexing as it all is. Those are the terms we agreed to. This ploy will likely have a considerable effect on the defense force stationed outside of the city too. I'll do what I can to mitigate it. Please do. It's weird to have so many screens. I'd say it's about, it's about high time we got down and dirty ourselves. Hey, you and the resistance are still out there. Let the hunt begin. Again, where is Shirley? She was going to mines. In the meantime, I'll get in touch with our associates at Ouroboros. I kind of hope that Ouroboros just abandons them here because they just don't care anymore because they've already gotten what they wanted. Something needs to be done about the SSS, not to mention the church's airship. If you would. <laughs> well, that was quite a show. Seems to me that your old man is all velvet glove and no iron fist. That may be how you see it, but I would ask you to consider this an act of foresight as president. Weird. This project's ultimate goal is to shift the balance of power across the entire continent. That's something that my father could never hope to do alone. Hence why he surrounded himself with collaborators who can get the job done for him. Such as the Divine Blade of Wind. As well as that other gentleman. Okay, who the other gentleman could be? I assume it's not someone for, from Uroboros. Precisely. Daddy, were you done yet? What is she doing here? Okay, I really hate Wald as a character. Like, I don't know why he's at all in a position of even the slightest bit of trust. Like, why is he here? Oh, hey, Lady Belle. What's up? Surely. As spirited as ever, I see. Have you finished thinking over what we discussed earlier? You mean about being in charge of your private unit? She's gonna say no. Yeah, it sounds kind of fun, but I like what I'm doing already. You could at least wait until I leave the room before trying to headhunt her from right under my nose. Ah, oh, yes. My apologies. In any case, Mr. Orlando, I would like to proceed as per our previous arrangements, if you don't mind. Fine by me. What are you going to do, lad? I'm not your grandson, Pops, so keep your nose in your own business. I do whatever I want. I really hope that he gets backstabbed. Because, like, he totally deserves to be backstabbed, because he's confident for no reason. Hmm. Suit yourself. You're always welcome to roll with us if you want, Wild. I'll put you through the paces. I really hope he gets backstabbed. He's the type of character that will get back backstabbed. 
It would be pretty fun if he sided with us and we could use a demon form of him, but that would never happen. They're just thoughtful pair, aren't they? You think that deadly little daddy's girl is thoughtful? Then again, I guess you'd probably relate, wouldn't you? No wonder you all click so well. I hate Walda. He's just not a fun character at all. He's not interesting. <laughs> oh ho ho. Having second thoughts about taking me up on my offer? Ha, <laughs> huh, as if. I finally got the power I deserve thanks to that you gave me. Power no one but me can handle. That's definitely false, but that's for certain. No one could hope to match you in physical strength when you demonize, Wald. Please, I hope that he fight, tries to fight Arianrod and gets stomped. That would be pretty fun. Just purely loses in physical strength. I couldn't ask for a better test case. What am I? Some kind of lab rat to you? Eh, not that's any skin off my back. As long as I get to crush that smug son of a bitch. I'm going to put him in his place for good. Like, he's such a nothing character. The shockwave of Speaker McDowell's declaration of invalidity slowly spread throughout the state, as well as the rest of the continent. Whatever impact it had on those in Crossbow City remained shrouded in mystery due to the barrier. Within the Defense Force, however, unrest spread violently as the chain of command at Belgard and Tangram Gate began to unravel. Amidst the chaos, the SSS received a surprising call aboard the Merkaba. It could be anybody. You figured out how to bring down the barrier? Who could it be? Could it be Kevin? Oh, it's him. He looks like Santa Claus. But like an old and tired Santa Claus. Because the red makes it him look almost like jolly. Yes, in turn, a way to suppress the power of the three aeons. The key lies in the great bells. Great bells. Do you refer to the ones at Stargazer's Tower and the Moon Temple and the Sun Fort? Are you suggesting that they're empowering the barrier and the aeons? No. Strictly speaking, their power is derived from the Septarian. However, the Septarian is not yet complete at the moment. For it to perform its so-called miracles over an extended area, its powers seem to rely on designated spatial fields. Said fields are specified by the resonance of the bells. I never realized they were capable of that. So, if we can just stop them from resonating, then you may be able to release the barrier. I wager that it would also suppress the power of the White Aeon that destroyed Corellia Fortress. But only the White Aeon? What about the other two? At least in theory. Hell, it's gotta be worth a try. The Barrier and the White Aeon do remain our largest obstacles. Okay, there's the White Aeon, there's the Purple Aeon that with like fast and wings. I can't remember what the other one looked like. It had a major cannon that it shot, and it was heavy. It didn't really have a special trait, other than its giant cannon. Liberate in the Crossbow City will be impossible as long as the both of them remain. So in other words, we should prepare to head to, to Stargazer's Tower and the Moon Temple. Yes. As for the third bell, it was used to the ancient battlefield, and then taken back to Central Square, according to Kao. We can't do anything about that one. We can still stop the bells at the tower and the temple at least. I mean, you can also kind of assume that because it's not in, the, in a special position, it's not going to have the same positive effect. That is, if you can get past Ouroboros. Members of their forces are guarding both locations. Well, shoot. He had another problem to account for. Campanella is stationed at the Moon Temple. As for Stargazer's Tower, I believe it is under the protection of Arianrod. Again, I don't know how to pronounce that. It's such an awkward name. 
That crazy strong chick in the tin can again, huh? I assume we don't fight her. We might fight like one or two, maybe three of the battle maidens, and then she'll be like, yeah, fine, we don't care. She's several problems in one. We may manage to pull, pull out a win against the fool. False. I don't think they stand a chance in an actual fight against Campanella. But Campanella is never going to get into an actual fight with them. He's just going to mess with them and then leave. Is my guess. We may manage to pull out a win against the fool. But even with our numbers, I highly doubt we'd stand a chance fighting toe to toe against the Steel Maiden. You've seen her. Why say could she really be that powerful when the only thing that's changed since the last time you ran into them is you know who Yin is. Like, Arian Rudd took out everyone here by herself in one attack. She hasn't gotten weaker and you haven't gotten that much stronger. Anyway, could she really be that powerful? She is. Granted, the society has its fair share of heavy hitters regardless. But she surpasses even the mightiest warriors they can muster. Her strength is inhuman. There may not be a man alive who could defeat her. See, the stressing on strength, to me, might imply that they're going to get into a strength-based fight with Wald, and Wald's going to lose, but... That's absurd. No, it isn't. Realistically speaking, there's always one person that's the strongest person at any given point in time. And just if it happens to be a woman, there's nothing wrong with that. But Wazi, you're one of the Septian Church's dominions. A rule like that isn't given without reason. Yet still you're saying that even you wouldn't be able to oppose her? That's right. I wouldn't even trust my stigma's power to put so much as a dent in her arm. Armor, not arm. I was stuck thinking about his stigma being an arm. Well, it's not really an arm, it's a forearm. If anyone could challenge her, and that's a big if, it'd be the commander. Yes, however, the entire continent is in a state of emergency. As things stand, Commander Selnit is in no position to come here. As... I don't know if Selnate has been introduced. <sighs> I know. We'd at least have a puncher's chance if Kevin were here. I'm kinda... Like, I guess... Uh, is Kevin really... Eh. I don't think... I don't know if Kevin... Oh, it's... It. Yeah, 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 yeah. Selnate's the... Uh... The book, the Carnelia book series was modeled after her, and she is introduced in Trails in the Sky the Third. And Carnelia is the book series in, I think, Trails in the Sky 1? Maybe 2? Maybe even 3, but I think it's 1 or 2. It's too bad this, uh, we'd have a chance to Kevin were here. It's too bad time is a luxury we can't afford. We finally have an opening that could allow us to break this deadlock. There's no other choice. We have to take this opportunity. Hell yeah. Agreed. It doesn't matter how powerful she is. No one is invincible. Hmm. They're right. If we falter here, we'll never reach Bell and the others. I'm in. Let's head to Stargazer's Tower and the Moon Temple. I wish you the best of luck. I would also advise that you save Arianrod at Stargazer's Tower for last. Lest you be unprepared to face her knights, let alone the maiden herself. You can reach the Moon Temple via the fork in the tunnel along Ma Mines Mountain Path. So, I'm not talking to these people because I don't care about them anymo anymore. Well, I can talk to her, and by talk I mean I'm going to skim through it in case it gives me a book. But I I'm not going to talk to these people on the ship anymore. Because their conversations might be about stuff. I mean, they're not going to be about anything interesting. So I will skim through. I will skim through this and this 
just on the off chance they had books, because I can't imagine these other people give me any books. I mean, he might give me a book. I'm going to skim through it because I don't really care, because the whole declaration of invalidity doesn't make sense to me. Ah. Wait, Shadow Dian's mask. Okay. Well. Travel. So I should go to Ursula, see if I can get this chest. Then up in Armorica to see if I can get that chest. So I think most of these chests are level 100. And I really don't think I can get level 100 stuff. Okay. Because level 100 monster chests, even if it's only 11, 12 levels up, 12 levels up, I'm still pretty sure I don't deal any damage to level 100. What happens if I do this? Heh, <laughs> has been suspended. I have scent equipped, don't I? I should just fight all the unequipped scent and try to get as many other things as I can. I don't know what I need. I don't know if I need wind. I know I, need, I think I need earth. I think I want 10 earth if possible. I mean, that would give me 10. It's probably not the optimal, and I don't actually need the detection hour. Wait, do I? Do I not have anyone equipped with detection other than him now? I don't. Okay, it is actually necessary. I need to give her stuff in case it goes poorly. Which do I want to level up? Crit could be okay. Apologies. I had to blow my nose because the weather is not conducive to avoiding allergies I really don't know I mean juggler seems really fun with specific builds probably uh, axe might be good to have leveled up Because that gives crits 20%, it probably goes up to maybe 30 total, maybe 50 total. I mean, level 4 is 20. That should mean level 6, which I think is the max that I'm not going to reach, but I think level 6 being the max would mean 30% chance to crit. Uh, which is probably better than Chevalier. But this gives, or che Chevalier? Chevalier? I know Chevalier. Is French but I don't know what the anglicized pronunciation should be okay Chevalier just gives better stats so I'm actually gonna stick with it for him the HP drop is not great the special ability is not great but the raw stats are a lot better wing could be worth it if it goes up to a hundred percent so the quick wing on her for now and give her an EP and HP three. No, mute two. I don't think leg breaker is good, but I'm gonna fight these guys. I'm not gonna fight them fairly, but I am gonna fight them for the experience, at least a little bit. <laughs> 
How much experience? No. Okay, they're not even worth fighting. Like, they're definitely not worth fighting. I should equip Scent again, because I'm going to do the monster chest if I if it's not too high level. Okay. Okay, time. Yeah, so this is one that I want to reload. Re... 82. That should be easy. I'm six levels over that. Easy is a relative term. Uh, it's not going to pull them, but it's going to deal some damage. It should be... Fairly easy. Yeah, these guys should die pretty quick. Okay, they're just gonna damage me. Can I... I can't pre-prepare that, so I might as well just deal damage. He's gonna die. Never mind, he's fine because they don't have anywhere near enough HP to be a threat. Ah, might as well burst. I wonder if you have access to burst if you do this at a lower level. Mara's Bell, which is really good is my understanding. Please, take me to St. Ursula Hospital. All that fighting left me with chest pains. Like, Mara's Bell is super good for fire. Is my understanding six? How much is a Mara's Bell? Seven. But yeah. Like, you cast an art once... The ca I assume, I'm pretty sure it's you cast, or you activate the cast, and then once it finally casts, you go right away. So you get way quicker turns. I'm gonna test that. I'm gonna go fight something. Uh, breath. Okay, so I'm gonna go to Knox Forest Road next. Probably. So what I'm going to do, though, is do nothing. You use Crimson Ray. Do nothing. Do nothing. Do nothing. Do nothing. Do nothing. It hits. And then he can go right away, which means he'd be able to cast so much quicker. Which I think also means Onyx Gem is bad on him. A cast would be better because once I cast something, then as long as I'm spamming fire, which I won't be doing all the time because I'll run out of EP very quickly. But if I'm focusing down an enemy and I'm spamming the single target fire attack on a boss, for example, having a cast gem so that I cast faster will be a lot more helpful than a speed jump. Which is my way of saying, where's my cast? Did I not put it on anybody? I should put the cast two on him. It's so much worse than the onyx gem for points, but... So she's gonna get the onyx gem. And that's fine. He really needs more EP though. I think once I'm actually fighting bosses, I need to get an EP 3 equipped on him. Uh, I mean, I might as well. Yeah, no one else has a have. Oh, he does have a heaven's eye, but now why does oh he has an ep3 because it also provides space and i need space for yes i need space for uh i need space for adamantine guard which i should probably try to get on someone else as well but 
So now I need to leave, which means down and around. But yeah. Now, as long as I feed enough EP into Wazi, he will cast Fire Arts eternally with an increased speed, and it should be super effective uh, on enemies that are weak to fire. If they aren't weak to fire, then it's going to be a little rough. Also, I, I wouldn't be surprised if there's like new people to talk to. If I go to Armorica and talk to people, there'll be different interactions. If I go to Ursula, there'll be different interactions. If I go to anywhere, there might be different interactions. But honestly, at this point, I'm not that worried about that anymore. So I basically decided I'm not going to bother. I've already missed too much to get anywhere near 100% of stuff. And while there could be fun story beats, if I'm not visiting a place for other reasons, I'm not going to run down to St. Ursula just to say hi. Um, but I need to go here. And so since I go here, I might visit Belgard because it's kind of where I'm going anyway. Like it's only a little bit further from the monster chest, I'm pretty sure. Okay, they just don't let me go there. Does that mean I can't get my monster chest? So will I have to leave that monster chest for later? Or am I going to miss that monster chest forever? I'm going this way to see if I can go through the... If anything happens if I go to the railway. And then I'll have to go back and go to the south. Into the forest to get the monster chest there. So I'm going to check this. It's relatively interesting to explore. Ooh, doo, doo. So what what happens if I do this? Will I be able to enter Belgard Gate? Wrong button. I'm trying to drink water. Again, why they chose to put a cutscene there is beyond me. lame. They really should just say that so much sooner. I know why they don't, because maybe you want to fight the dogs, but... Yeah, look at that actions. These actions. Like, just spam Firebolt and he'll go faster than he would have if you wanted to use, like any arts like why is it a cutscene it's so goofy i really wonder why they made the rails 3d like the fact that i love it it's great but the fact that this is actually like an upwards bump is so funny because it is so unnecessary no one would I mean, definitely some people would complain, but like no reasonable person would complain. Oh, those characters aren't going over the rail, aren't going up when they walk over the rail. Like, it's such a weird thing. It's such a weird thing to include. I'm not paying any attention to my running around. It's one issue I have with this style of game. Uh, like, it sort of applies to modern Pokemon games too, but like, wait, so I can't go there either. Well, that makes it easy. And it also makes this entire visit a waste of time, but. Anyway, I have to rest again. But, uh, Pokemon games. Like, the old Pokemon games, which is old as in non-Switch version, everything pre-Switch, where, you know, encounters were totally random. As annoying as it could be, 
there's a certain element of if you get a random encounter, it's not your fault for running into them, it's just chance. Whereas here, running around with a million monsters, if I run into them, it is my own fault for running into them and not successfully avoiding them. I have no idea. I'm pretty sure this is where that monster chest is, but I have no idea where it is. Because if it's, if it's not here, I don't know where it would be. Uh, I guess I'll go the long way, because it might be on the upper levels instead of down. We can pick up some Sepeth here while I'm running around. I like this song. Because there's a slight... Whatever. Change up from the normal song. Or not normal music. Like it's slightly fungal. What makes it fungal? I don't know. But it is slightly fungal. I mean, the reason I th I'm saying fungal instead of anything else is because there's fungus in the area, but... It fits with the, like... Dank... Dark... Locations in which fungus tends to grow. Yeah, I guess on that note, I think pretty much, I, I'd say most of the music in these games is pretty good. It's just some of it plays so much more than I, w I wish it did. Uh, okay, there's a monster chest that I finished here. I don't know how much further it is. I'm beginning to question if the monster chest is even in here. I don't remember where the monster chest is. In okay, the fact there were multiple monster chests. It, so many monster chests in this level. Okay, I'm going up left. I still have to go down. Oh no, down I think goes to the ladder but that's the only place i can go anyway well guess this is not the monster chest because i don't think the monster chest was in this small zone anyway free experience not a ton but better than taking longer yeah, and this gets me back up to here so this is not where the monster chest is Oh, never mind, it's right here. I could have saved a lot of time. Hopefully, 85 doable. I guess most of these were 85 and not 100. Great enemy type. Such a good enemy type. High quality enemy type. Holy... Nope. He's ass breaking. High quality enemy type. Great enemy design. Unavailable. Paralyze. Or not paralyzed, but um... What's the word? Uh, petrify. Which in turn means there's a chance that I just get one shot. Okay, 
You know, petrification is not a good status effect in this game. Good job des. Jupiter Bell. I think that's the equivalent of the Mars Bell, but for wind. Oh, these? My looties? My massive hecking quartzies? My space bending, wind flapping, gravity welling magic orbs? I know what that is. I could not for the life of me quote it. Not for reasons other than I just couldn't quote it. Probably because I've only ever, I assume I've only ever heard modified versions of it. I've never heard whatever the original was, word for, or read whatever the original was, word for word. Yeah, that's useful. Does... Nice. Breath and, breath and holy breath count as wind and not water. So, so having it on her for healing is actually pretty good. If she can heal with... I mean, if she can heal and get an action quicker, that's just useful. Back to mines and then over to Armorica. I've occasionally been checking the guides that exist. There's some stuff you're supposed to do before you go to Stargazers, like use three combo craft with every character or something. I'm not going to bother with any of that. Actually, I'm going to talk with the mayor. Okay, yeah, just kind of, yeah, stuff has changed. That's about it. Ooh, actually, no, this is an important storyline. I don't care about Mire. I should talk to her, but... That resistance leader is a real fighter, huh? She was the first to challenge the new regime. None of the men can claim that. That's false. We were the first. You want to know why we were the first? Because we were there when it started. The rest of us ladies could learn a lot from her, I bet. You're right. I feel the same way. Nah, you didn't even try- you were the last to challenge the regime. You went along with it, very actively. And you betrayed your comrades. Which, in this setting, it was totally reasonable to betray us. Because she would have been locked up as well, so like, eh. You're right, I feel the same way. Having her say that's kind of, ooh. Randy, special force section. Just the people I wanted to see. With the Declaration of Independence invalidated, but that doesn't matter. The Defense Force can no longer act with impunity, except it can. Now, if we could just do something about the barrier surrounding the city. Disabling it would, o would be our only real chance of liberating the citizens. We're on the job, Second Lieutenant. It'll get done, one way or another. But just a heads up. The Constellation's probably already geared up for that to happen. If we aren't careful, they could start hunting the Resistance down before we even get this operation off the ground. In other words, the sooner we act, the better. Agreed. I'll ensure my men are fully prepared to launch the operation on our end. With the Wolves' help, we'll be able to put up a better fight against the Red Constellation. In the meantime, we're counting on the SSS to shut the barrier down. Don't worry, we'll pop that bubble. Just be careful on your end, Mireille. Same to you, Randy. Okay, I'm the only thing I'm going to do while I'm here is look for the miner. I'm looking for the miner who's obsessed with Luca. That's the only important character here that I'm going to bother trying to talk to. Like, there, there might be story there that's interesting. There he is. Luca kicked us out of the inn. She said it was so the leader of the resistance could get some rest. Oh well, we'll live. We want to help as much as we can, but there isn't much we can do for Miss Mireille and her resistance. In the end, all we might as are good for is digging up holes. I mean, if they had enough guns, they could teach you, but, like, nah. Kimmy, 
Who cares? You don't matter. Haha. Uh -huh. I mean, he does. He's just a person. But, like, plot-wise, he doesn't matter. Like, he's not gonna have any uh, impact on the plot of the, the world. Okay, so I have to go here and run here. I probably will be cut off before I can get to it, but I'll try. And then that's where I'll stop for today. I might not be able to get this. I really hate this. The fact that the exclamation mark is on the one that's oh, further away as well. I hate it. I really dislike that. I don't know why, but it bugs me a lot. Ah, Colin. I'll always talk to Colin. Playing with everyone is so fun. I've made so many friends here. Maybe I can bring Sunita with us next time, too. Ah, Colin. The Light of Crossbell. The only person that matters. No one else matters in Crossbell. Only Colin. Well, what I, technically speaking, I think what I should be doing is fighting every enemy that exists so that I can get the uh, dragon vision to record them. Because if I get the dragon vision to record them, I'll get rewards, maybe, from Rebecca eventually. Like the uh, scan rewards. Oh, this guy's gonna explode. Cause I think I don't. I didn't scan like any enemies all game because I think it's not an interesting part of the game to manually scan every single enemy. And since I think if I actually were tr was trying to get a hundred percent, I think I'd have to play through it again anyway. It's like as long as I can carry over the dragon vision, then I'm fine. I just get dragon vision equipped early. And then from there, I would just, every fight I do, just make sure I fight every enemy and then I'd have Dragon Vision do it all and I'd be good. But, okay, will they stop me? They haven't stopped me yet. It's this one here, nice. Okay, this should be the one I'm after. Uh, I'm not sure if I can fight that. I'll try once. If I can evasion them, it might be doable. But I'll only be able to evasion them if they focus on him. Okay. They are weak to water. Obstruct the casting of arts. Yes, I'm not going to get anything done. Because they're going to trigger here. And impede it. I might be able to do it, but it will be so slow. I have no idea what this does. I don't remember at all. Let's do it, because I don't remember what it does. I never use it. It's also a different version now that it's the big version, huh? It changed. Oh, but if... As long as they can get burst going, it will be really helpful. Holy, that's so bad. I mean, as long as they target him, I'm good. And, I mean, I can firebolt, that's useful. You won't be able to firebolt, but it will. Dr I mean, the attack from the firebolt's not that bad. I mean, I'm just gonna move. I'm basically gonna rely on the burst to do as much damage as possible. And it's basically the only opportunity to heal. I can do that, too. That's some damage. Yes, getting hit reduces that as well, doesn't it? I mean, this is totally doable. 
it's just a major pain. I'm gonna focus on the left three. Kill them first. Why'd they get so many turns? They all got two turns there. What? Okay, they don't move. Yeah, let's go here. Okay, now I can spam arts. Um, hydro cannon? I think Genesis Flood is totally worth it. Yeah, that's, that's easy. If she had a water one, I would do it, but I think it's probably... No. If I can hit her multiple with any of these, it would be worth it. But I can't, uh, Ariel can hit multiple. I think Ariel's only 10 or 90, but hitting 3 is worth more. I can hit 2 with this. That really should hit 3, but whatever. He will flare butterfly. I'm, I kind of, I'm glad if the fire thing applied during burst, he would just eternally chain fire arts. Yeah, those are not going to cast. What I should do is this, into this. Nice. It's definitely not a fun fight, but they don't do a lot of damage at least, so it's balanced. But like, they were level 100, but I only got 6 experience. How is that fair? You're in a spell? Does everyone consent to this looting? The SSS in chest? I do. Eidos, I don't. Ah, weird choice of joke. Like, God doesn't consent to whatever garbage. Um, what am I doing? I'm seeing what Urna spell is. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same as the Mars spell, but for space. Which actually might be better than Heaven's Eye. 4-2 in exchange for a 7. Why can't I equip it? Because I have the Mars spell equipped. Yeah, it's the same type. But I mean, he doesn't have any space. Does space have any really good ones? Is it worth specializing in space? I'm about to be done, so I'm just going to check this really quick and that's when I'll wrap up. So. I mean, Dark Matter is pretty okay. Gold Halo looks really good. Like, it's a... It makes them take more damage. It's a large AoE. That should be pretty good. Last Disaster is a line attack. Reincarnation is an attack all. Celestial is a huge heal. 18 and 8. Maybe I try to make... Teo... A space type? Because I want Fortuna. I want to give someone Fortuna. So if I make Tio space centric, it might be good. Then she won't be able to spam breath, but then she'll have access to Celestial and Golden Halo. So like Golden Halo twice, Fortuna twice for 50% additional arts, and they take 50% more, which is 1.5 and then double, which would mean 3x damage total. I wouldn't be able to get both sets of debuffs applied because they don't last that long, but keep the water gem. Oh. Is there any other water ones that are better? Probably not. But if I tried this briefly, I would need to get rid of Jupiter Bell, the Uranus Bell, Evade. What, what did I need? I'm bad at even thinking. I just need water and space. I'm not going for reincarnation. Water and space is all I need, which is good. It's a good combo. Because water lets me keep magic. Do I want evade? Breath needs four 
of those. I want to keep cannon for healing, but I can swap it if needed. Range is not bad. If I had a range 2, that would be way better. The issue is I don't have any good space. I can get to 11, but I'd have to commit way too much just to get to a good amount. I'm at 15. And like, I'd have to swap so much more to get, uh, I need three more. Three more is not that bad. If I swap this for a space one, it wouldn't be too bad. Give her Mobius and have her use items a bit. That wouldn't be useless. And it gives more wind. Let's try that. That might be good. Then I can swap one of these other space ones for like a cast, a cast three later. I don't have another cast three or cast two, but it wouldn't be bad. I can get another water. Okay, I can put a shield three, make her more defensive. Okay, shield three is a five. Heal might be better because it gives me more options. Like this gives me golden halo. Last disaster is not that useless, but this is a big one. It debuffs enemies if they can be debuffed. I also have Fortuna, which lets me buff, which you can always buff your allies even if you can't debuff the enemy, so it's better overall to have Fortuna. And I don't have the other one that I was looking for because I don't have enough water now. I have enough water. Oh, I need... No, I need more. I need the... I need this. Because I need 21, right? Anyway, I'm going to stop here. Because I keep getting 18 and 8. Celestial. I should have 18 and 8, right? Oh, I have 7 now. Oh, I need one... I need to get one space. I need one more... Oh, that's rough. Okay, I can swap this for a water, I guess. It's not ideal. It's not ideal at all, but this gets me Celestial. Which is a large area, revive, and full heal. And then I still have Fortuna. I still have Gold Halo. I want to see how Gold Halo works. I didn't mean to kill him. Shoot. Okay, I have to run into them. How does gold, ha gold Halo work? So, Gold Halo. Well, first, Fortuna is targeted. And Celestial, I don't have enough to cast. I'm assuming it's targeted as well. We know it's a revive. If it's a revive, it should be ground targeted, right? Unless you can tar- if it's a revive, you can target people who are downed, probably. Golden Halo being ground targeted is very nice. I'm gonna see what it looks like. Counter attack. Oh well. Doesn't matter. Um, I'd be able to cast Celestial twice with Tio before she would need to re like restore her EP. So I'm going to. But on that note, I'm going to stop here. And. Next time, I guess, it will be time to go to the Moon Temple. Because... Well, actually, that's really good. 1.5 on EP recovery is actually very nice. I thought it only applied to HP because I wasn't paying any attention. But... 
here's where I'm stopping for today. Next time will be time to go to the Moon Temple to steal or, well, to stop the resonating of a bell. Whether that means to smash the bell or to unhook it or just to stop it from currently swinging. I don't know what their plan is, but that's for next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.